Well, hey, this is Steve, A Thousand Year Homes and A Quiet Night. I'm pretty tired, but I want to get uh, my paint came in. <clears throat> this is called Kills, and it's a sealer, a primer sealer. So the purpose of this is um, the uh, ply plywood, which is uh, this thick. The plywood's over an inch and a half thick on this one. Um, it's treated. So, um, I, you know, I always have everything in here is treated. So no termites can get in, no mold. Uh, everything's mold resistant in my house. But anyway, I'm going to take kills. Um, the other thing is my shipping container hauled uh, tires its whole life. So on a hot day, I've noticed I smell a little faint tire shop aroma. So I want to seal the floor in and uh, just get that last little bit. It's hardly noticeable, but I, I notice it simply because I know what I'm smelling, you wouldn't even notice it yourself, but I want to seal the floor. So uh, that's my project tonight. I'm going to go ahead and have you take a look at that. I'm going to quick cut in a, all the corners and then I'm going to roll it out. And uh, I'm trying to get this done as fast as I can. So there we go. And then I put a roller on a, on a broomstick. And uh, that's the way I like to do this, so I'm not bending down. But I will cut them all in with a brush to start with. Tell you what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> I'm funny boy, huh? Yeah. What I want is more energy in my life. When I was younger, man, I could stay up all night long. Yep. It made no difference to me. And now, wow, everything, it's very hard. You know where your back is? Or you're not going to keep bending over like that? Well, I'm going to cut in the corners and then I'm going to roll it up. So, yeah. I use my flip flops to move those doors. That's the last heavy thing I have to move. I put it right here. Okay, thank you, love. I end up with any kills left. I might paint those panels white that are in between the black just for. Bought an abandoned homestead. Did you I that? saw that on YouTube. Did you, did you I didn't watch it, but I saw somebody bought an abandoned homestead. That sounds fun. But listen, homesteading is super hard. I'm not even trying to make a living here as a homesteader. I have a job. Could you imagine trying to um, make a living on a farm nowadays? This is cool because it's an abandoned and it has tractors, everything. Oh, wow. Outshed buildings and everything. Wow. Oh, it's a house under construction. Oh, uh, you know, that happens. People start building a house and get a divorce or oh, cancer. Lodge. Oh, it's Vice Grip Lodge. Yeah, he's a, uh, I don't know how he has that much energy. You know, he's got a Motor Trends show. He's got the little kid. He uh, does all the recoveries. He's got his own YouTube and he's building houses and stuff. I think that's his wife. Oh, his wife? Uh, yeah, it's a gal, a brunette gal, is that right? So I don't have to be really careful here because I have one inch, hundred year old tile that is going to go in here. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm not really, uh, like, I don't have to really worry very, very much. Uh, with the edges, you know, I can... I can be a little messy. How, how does it, how does he have that much time? He's just a mystery man to me, you know. Now, where's the 
That's just like our little Kovar, you know? Once upon a time was thriving in the 1800s and then along came the Great Depression and the Spanish flu and everybody disappeared, you know? Yeah, I would uh, like to have one of those uh, if it had a PTO and I'd put my mower deck on it and leave it on. So, you know, all I'd have to do. Plus, if I had forks on another tractor, I could unload the trailer when I bring it back, you know? Yeah. I saw one the other day for three grand. I was tempted, but how many wheels do I need? You know, I need to build a house before I go buying more tractors. But um, when I start this as a full-time ranch slash homestead, I, you know, I definitely could use, especially if I do logging and get the sawmill going, because I'll be out logging and then I'll bring back a load of logs. I'll need to unload them, you know? Yeah. And my tractor will be at another location. the easiest paint job I've ever done because nothing matters <laughs> you know <laughs> pour it on the floor and slosh it around <laughs> it's all right throw my brush right on the floor <laughs> I'm just pretty tired to be doing this work honestly you know yeah I am tired yeah But uh, I want to get done with all of this so that you and I can bring in um, the furniture so I can get that other connex straightened out, you know? I don't know if one gallon will be enough, you know. <clears throat> this uh, plywood's pretty porous. You know, I didn't. I forgot to look at how much the can will cover. That was silly. Did you just get one? But yeah, I did. Um, but you know, I knew I wasn't doing the, our bedroom, so I thought, oh, one will be enough for now, and then I'll. Uh, When uh, I get this around, I'll move my office out of there and um, into here. And then I would buy, I'll buy my second gallon then, you know. This kills, I mean, it, it works for moldy bathrooms and it's just an excellent product. But I bought the um, industrial kills, you know, that's uh, even stronger, you know.
couple of places I'll have to chase this again later. It doesn't have a very strong odor. Latex is a nicer, much nicer paint than old oils, you know? Well, no, I hear his voice more than her voice. She, uh, is she really doing it or is he doing it? Sounds like you're asleep. <laughs> we gave up. What I'm going to do is just paint this half, let that dry so I can move those doors and then I'll, I'll paint the rest. So I'll paint this farther than that. So. floor is pretty porous so I don't know how far this paint will actually get. The paint is not a final coating. It's, this is just a, a primer to seal the floor so I won't have any vapors and no scent coming through. But um, The tile and the flooring system will be put in later. I still have some uh, drywall to do. And so, um, I'll be doing drywall and uh, a final coat and sanding. So this will get kind of messy.
bunch of logs for my daughter. So I had a big day. I worked a full time job and built some stairs, took care of the horses, started the laundry, Leah finished it. I have seen people sand these floors in industrial mod homes. I'm not doing industrial mod. And then seal them. And, uh, you know, if you're doing industrial mod with iron and colors, it looks pretty good. I've seen both stained and sealed, and then I've seen distressed. And i got to admit that the stained looks more professional. The distressed look just like... I don't know, somebody was doing whatever they needed to get a shipping container done to turn it into a bed and breakfast. Where the stained and sealed look just a lot better. And if it's urethane they put down, it'll, it'll last a lot longer too. I'm a big believer in urethane the flooring. It's a good. Good coating. Well, I'm not going to get any gold stars for for this paint job. Let me get my flip flop. Move those doors. Break my flip flops too. Not bad. These doors are <laughs> done. Oh, come on. I'm not done, baby. I think the hardest thing on me is the knee and my knees just don't like it anymore.
See where the forks travel on the ground occasionally. Really, really bounce things up. I got about a half can left, which will maybe get me to the end. We'll see. Bathroom, I use the green board, which is mold resistant drywall. I would have used it in the whole house, but I couldn't find it in 5 8 which is the fire rated. And I wanted fire rated for out here in Texas because the wildfires is the real risk. Now I'm going to use a mini split inside this shipping container for heat and air. But um, there's room with the solar to uh, do a heated floor. And we'll see if I end up with that. Looks like a Jackson Pollock painting in here. So this is, uh, I see that it looks a little yellow on the camera. But this is bright white. It's not yellow, it's not antique. This is a, a primer sealer. It's not an eggshell or anything fancy. Just bright white. can left. And I would say I have a third of the building to paint. Oh, well, these two major rooms. So one gallon of the kills industrial 
<clears throat> I'm going to guess did 240 square feet. So that's uh, on a 40 foot cubicle. It's about 30, uh, 28, 30 feet, more or less. Not bad. <clears throat> you know, people ask me what I pay, and to be honest, I'm spending my own money, and I only buy what I'm using when I use it. And I've experienced COVID where lumber prices were runaways and you know, uh, so I don't, I don't pay attention. <laughs> I literally just buy what I need. I, it has to, I have to have it anyway. So uh, I'm, I'm a terrible resource for what this costs. And eventually when I'm all done, I'll, I'll do a reckoning uh, during tax season, you know, and all that. But it's not the bank's money I'm spending here. So, and I'm building a house that'll last a thousand years. So I'm not doing cheap stuff, I'm doing expensive stuff. So, but even using expensive stuff, this whole house I'm gonna get done, I know, two shipping containers with a roof, earth bag, all kinds of fancy high-end stuff, probably $80,000, but um, saw so milling my own lumber. I got 30 acres of lumber. And uh, I'm going to earth bag, which will be my own, you know, clay out here. And uh, when I see a stain in the drywall, uh, I'm going ahead, I'm painting it right now like that. So I'm also painting, you know, a little bit. Like, otherwise, if you don't cover up drywall stains, especially if they're iron. As soon as you put a paint or a plaster on it, it'll leach that iron through and you'll forever have that stain there. next day. I put it in a plastic baggie overnight. Even oils will keep. I don't clean brushes either. Uh, even if rollers were $20 a piece, I wouldn't clean them. My time is more valuable than that. But uh, the baggie trick works and uh, works just fine. But this roller is on the ground, so it's got already dirt in it and all kinds of crap. You know, it's, it's not a roller that it's worth washing out. Plus, I, weirdly, I bought a 18 inch roller, which worked perfect for a floor, but I don't have an 18 inch holder for it. So I had to use the 12 inch holder. And uh, while it's working, it's not my preferred, it's the only roller like that. It's not my preferred working size. All right, so I'm getting crowded up here. I'm gonna be a few minutes. I'm gonna turn you off while I uh, reset everything. I've got a chair and a couple of odds and ends here. Leah asked me, does it look good? And uh, it looks okay in the, in the uh, it looks okay in the video, doesn't it? But no, and it doesn't in person. It's not full coverage. It's spotty. And they call those holidays when you don't cover things evenly. The paint took a holiday. Um, in addition, where the fork trucks drug it gouge, deep gouges, and the screw recessed screws, I didn't cover all those. So, But it smells better. It looks like that. <laughs> I mean... Uh, which is what I wanted to accomplish. So I, I did accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Again, even if the paint was 50 bucks, I don't know what it was. I honestly don't. Well worth the money. Uh, well worth the money. And a $300,000 house, if it ends up being appraised like that, what, what is $50, you know? And then to know that um, 
you know, I don't have the uh, toxic, uh, uh, whatever the oils or whatever might have gotten spilled on the floor. I don't have to breathe fork truck leftovers, you know, hydraulic oil is well worth it. So let me go ahead and point you down at the ground here and finish up the last little bit. All right. watch my channel my old horse his knees are bad it was a rodeo horse and people rode him too hard and <clears throat> not a healthy lifestyle for a horse Anyways, got no no responsibilities now I treat him like his retirement years Are a little high. Like I say, the tiles, the hundred year old tiles, they'll be more than an inch and a half thick. So I could be pretty messy and still get away with it. <laughs> I'm so tired, I went higher than an inch and a half and touched some cedar, so that means I'll be scraping that later on. And actually, I kind of want to go up high. I want to tie the walls and the floor together with a, a bead of a sealer. Because um, that way it'll be better, easier to manage water if the bathtub ever overflows or, I don't know, make it unfriendly for bugs clean, make everything clean. All right. I got one last door to, to move here. I hope I don't bump you. Let's do this. It's gonna go right here. So and maybe when I order the other one, I'll put a second coat in the bathroom. That would make a lot of sense. in a corner. Pin it perfectly. Or anything, it's just 
construction carpet, construction floor. <laughs> Nothing here is fancy. goes just right. I'm going a little thick on the bathroom as I exit. you here and then I'll come back when I'm all done. Let me finish up. Alright internet, you be the judge. So it took me an hour and 20 minutes for me to do that. I'll speed walk through most of this. But uh, not too bad, right? What do I got left? Sixteenth uh, of a gallon. Not much. Not even a quarter. But a little bit. Just a little bit. Doesn't look too bad. Much better than it was. Alright, I'm happy. Not going to save the brush. I'm not going to save the roller. I'll save that little bit of paint because I can touch up where the forks scratched everything. Looks good. Alright. This is Steve at Thousand Year Home. I've accomplished what I wanted this uh, today. <laughs> now I'm ready to stage a bedroom and lay out furniture and have some fun. It'll be fun tomorrow after that's dry. All right, wrap up video. It's morning light. That's when you inspect a paint job. But let's take a look here. All right. Well, that's where I had the the uh, light, so I'm expecting that. There's your missus. But listen, this is enough. This seal coat is just to prevent um, stains from coming through. I had some um, iron. Some rust stains here. See, they're still coming through on the drywall. Just three little spots uh, where I need to take care of that. So I've got like a oh sixteenth of a gallon left, less than half a quart. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to touch up where the uh, fork trucks cut in and I didn't get coverage and just a few spots. Since I have the paint, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. But listen, in the bright light of the day, feels pretty good. I can get that done and then I'll start um, staging final layout. Well, you know, thinking about final layout. I'll get it all staged. All right, this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Uh, and when you buy one of these shipping containers, if you're going to put a flooring on it, put a layer of kills on it. Then when somebody comes by and says, oh, you can't use a shipping container because the flooring's toxic. They're full of baloney. They don't know what they're talking about. And it won't matter to you because you will have a seal primer on it called Kills anyway. So there you go. All fixed. Good life is good.